Welcome everyone, this is Robert here with another Tech Geek 311 app review and demo. Today I'm going to cover an app uh, that I've covered in the previous uh, time before, so if you uh, check my links and check my annotations, you'll see my other two videos related to this one. Now the only reason that I'm doing this review uh, early is because they are uh, creating an Apple Watch app, or in other words they're integrating with the Apple Watch. So I wanted to give you guys sort of a quick rundown of what they've done so far and then when my Apple Watch eventually does come in I will show you that app how it works. So this is uh, 24Me, a personal assistant and it works like this. Okay, so you can see basically how this app works. It has your calendar integrated, has your reminders, and also can create your own to-dos with it. <clears throat> of course, here it says here, automatically task manager, get things done. Smart notes, videos, photos, memories, and so forth. Location, maps, traffic, be there on time, and all your accounts. So this will actually integrate with social accounts as well as financial providers and so forth. So, uh, like I said, I've done a review on this before. I'm going to go down here actually to the what's new, give you guys an idea of what I'm going to be doing. Of course they said the uh, 24Me for Apple Watch is here. They've carefully crafted it to make it work with the Apple Watch. So of course um, that's going to be one of my reviews when my Apple Watch eventually does arrive, which I'm still waiting on. So we're going to go in here and I'm going to get, now if you watch my previous videos you're going to see the big changes on this. For you guys that are new to this app, you'll just see, kind of see what this app can actually do for you. So I jump right in here, of course it's going to go straight to my calendar, so I can see whatever calendar events that I have going on, and of course I can scroll through each one that has a dot, and I can see all the calendar events, and see what I have going. If I tap next to the calendar, you're going to get all the tasks. Now so far I had it linked with my reminders, so most of these that are in here are part of my reminders. Of course you can see the weather next to each date as well. Now I tap the, the another uh, one on the top, so this is all the top navigation bar. The one next to it on the right is going to be your notes. You can add your notes and if you had any notifications you're going to tap that bell and that bell will give you any notifications in here. Now of course you have that plus button blinking on the right. If I tap that plus button then of course it's going to allow me to add something new. Of course you have a lot of different uh, choices on the bottom. You can do a photo so you can take a photo or select a photo. You have your microphone, so you can add a uh, voice memo. Of course you have the color of the font, an underlined font. You have, of course, uh, if you want to make it like thinner or more bold. You have these little dash lines if you want it centered, to the right or to the left, depending on which way you want it. And then, uh, of course, you have your cancel button. And then you can see here it tells you your date, your time, and so forth. So if I tap these three little lines on the left, okay, now you're going to get this little section, which is going to be your links, your smart alerts, your settings, your tutorials, support, and so forth. If I tap on links, all right, so right here you're going to get your social networks. Right now all they have is Facebook. That's all you can do. You have your providers. So if you tap on providers here, now it's going to pull up a list of all the different providers that you can add, such as your TV, your cable, and so forth. If we go into financials, same thing. If I go in here to financials, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to pull up banks, it's going to pull up credit cards, and so forth that you want to track. <clears throat> Errands, they only have one, so there's nothing you can do on that. Then on the bottom you get your uh, iPhone information. You got your calendar, your contacts, your reminders, and your locations. So that works real well. We go in here again. We're going to go under your smart alerts. And of course here you can customize your settings. How you want it to look. So you can turn these on or off. 
and create your reminders for your tomorrow's agenda or today's agenda. And we go in here, you have your settings. Of course, now you have all the settings you can turn on and off. Now they've changed this one for the app badge, where you can show no badge, task for today, today's date, and notifications. Um, this is not quite what I was wanting them to do, but I'm not sure if they're ever going to integrate where you can see your calendar events and tasks on the same app badge. <clears throat> That's something we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. And then, of course, you can choose your navigation. You can either choose Apple, Google, or Waze, or so forth. You can log out of your account. Then we go in here. You can do the support. You can invite terms, and you can remove items. So if I go to remove, now this shows you all the ones that I've already checked off. I can either hit the separate trash can to remove it, or I can hit the clear all on the top right. Okay, so in the calendar, of course, you have all your calendar stuff here. Tap on that date, which is showing up in there, and that'll automatically bring you to your current date. So no matter where you are, if you go all the way over here, tap on that calendar date, brings you right back to your current date. Okay, and then you can change the little pictures on the bottom if you want to. That's, uh, that's uh, whatever your customization you want to do. Okay, that's pretty much the app itself in a nutshell. I've done a more extensive review before, uh, prior to it. Um, you can also do this. You can pull down for the month if you want to see that. So that's another option that it gives you. So every time you tap on the date, you can pull down, and you can have your entire month view and year view if you want to look at it. Okay? So this app is going to be available for the Apple Watch, and uh, of course, once my Apple Watch comes in, I will go ahead and show you guys this app again, how it works with the Apple Watch. And hopefully by then, the developers will make a little more of, uh, of changes on it and really bring it up to where it needs to be. But that's so far as 24Me. That's the new version, the 3.7.0. So if you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you like and comment me, you'll get my next video that I do with the Apple Watch and this app and how it integrates and how it works. All right? So I thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like. Give me any comments if you have it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys later with more videos. Thanks for watching.